Our clients are busy people. They've got families, they've got their own businesses, they've got busy work schedules, and they also have lives outside the gym as well. So when they come in to us, we know that we have a very small amount of time each week with them to deliver the best, most effective workout within that time frame. To do that, we deliver full body workouts and we're doubling or tripling up exercises to maximize their time. And a big consideration is avoiding exercises that are competing with each other when we pair them up. So you can give exercise one your full effort and then you can move on to exercise two, give that your full effort and none of them are interfering with each other. Three examples of competing exercises and what to do instead. Exercises that challenge your grip. So for example, we would never do any type of a rowing exercise, such as a chin up, a TRX row, a seated row, and then double it up with some type of a deadlift movement or a kettlebell swing. Your grip will get very tired long before your target muscles you literally can't hold on to challenge them properly. A better example is to pair up a rowing or a pulling type upper body exercise with a lower body squat exercise. You're avoiding your grip on the squat and it's fresh when you go back to do your pulling exercise. Exercises that stress your lower back. We wouldn't do a barbell bent over row and then double it up with a Romanian deadlift. We want to give the lower back a break by pairing up a separate exercise that doesn't involve using that lower back. You could do a Viking press, you could do a push up instead of that bent over row, and then you could target your back later on in your session. And the last category are exercises that rely on the rack position. When you're holding a barbell or a dumbbell, kettlebells up at your shoulders, we wanna make sure that we don't do two exercises in a row that brings us into this position because your upper body will just get really tired from holding that weight. So you're better off doing it for one exercise, giving it a push, and then moving on to another exercise that doesn't involve this. Some examples of competing exercises and how to avoid them by just changing up the pairings that you have inside your workouts. It'll keep you healthier, it'll allow you to get more out of each exercise, and it'll just maximize the short amount of time that most people have to train so that you're getting the most bang for your buck.